Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. And don't blink because you might miss something. Okay, first up, taking one of these cute little wooden pencil holders from the Dollar Tree. And with my Cricut, I cut out these words. This one says, be strong. And then the other one that I place on the other side is going to say, be fearless. I added a few of the mini yellow roses and that is it. Super cute. Okay, so the next part, I'm taking this little house from the Dollar Tree. It's made out of M MDF wood and one of these Project Life books with little cards in it. And so I pulled out this yellow card and I'm putting a little bit of glue stick on the front of it and putting the little card on top, kind of pressing down to find the form. And using a nail file, I'm going to file off the excess and I do this and go all the way around. And once it's done, and I do the top two except for the little roof. And with my Cricut, I cut out a little phrase and it says, home is where my honey be. And so I'll put the H down and instead of the O, I'll put in place a cute little B, bumblebee, and then the M and the E. So it'll say home and then the rest of it says is where my honey be. So cute. So I just place that on there. And once I have that on, then I'll take another little bee and I'll put that on the very top. And then I also cut out a little bit of a honeycomb pattern and I'll place that on the bottom section of the top of the house. And then I'll go in with some Mod Podge to seal it all up. And that is it. So cute. And I'll place this on top of the little pencil holder that I made earlier. And that is it. Super cute. What do you guys think? Okay, for the next one, I'm taking these cute little bottles that I thrifted. And they are so cute. They were $2 for the set. So I'm taking some of the black apple barrel paint. And I'm just going to go in in the center. Because it was a little raised rooster in there. And I really don't want the rooster. This I like the fact that the bottles have a honeycomb pattern. So I'm going to go in with some of this yellow cotton twine from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to wrap around the top. And just give it a, like a little bit of a, of a little knot on the front. And just let, it, let the little tails hang down. No bow or nothing. Just a little knot. And I'll do that to both. Then I take these little stickers from the Dollar Tree. From the teaching tree section. And they, these little stickers have little honeybees on them. So I just place those on the center of the black circles. And then with my paintbrush. I put a little bit of detailing on some of the honeycombs. And that's it. Super cute. What do you guys think? For this project, I'm taking one of these hexagon little shaped MDF tabletop decor and I'm t turning it over and I'm going to go in with some of the yellow, bright yellow apple barrel paint. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used to paint the black circle. And you'll see why in a minute. You'll see why I did this. And you can kind of see the black showing through and I'm kind of wanting that effect. And so I'm using the back of the brush same brush I haven't dipped it anything else and I'm gonna go over the perimeter so kind of give it like a, a shape on the outside on the perimeter kind of define it and once the paint is dry I'm going to use some more of my Cricut vinyl and I cut out this little beehive place that in the center on the bottom and then this cute little bumblebee and I'll place this one on the very top and then I'll cut out another little honeycomb pattern and I'll place this on the side. And I'll go in with some more Mod Podge to seal it all up. 
and that is it this one's done what do you guys think Well, I sure hope you're enjoying these projects thus far. And this video is a part of a minis challenge. And it's a monthly challenge that's hosted by Corey over at Crafted by Corey. And we are to create little minis. And so as with any challenge, there's a playlist included in this challenge. So when you're done viewing my video, please head on over to my description box. And the link to the playlist should be there. And I'll also place it or pin it in my comments just in case the links don't work in the description box because you just never know okay so let's get on with the crafts for this next project i'm taking some of these natural beads from amazon and also some of these colorful beads from the dollar tree i'm just using the yellow and so i'm taking a skewer and i'm going to uh, place about 10 or so beads on there maybe more and with some of this black upper bell paint, I'm going to paint them. And then once they're dry, I'm just going to put them in this little dish. And some jute twine with a little bit of hot glue on the end so I can thread it easily. And I'll start threading these beads in a pattern of natural yellow and black. And I'll take one of these little wooden tags from Dollar General. And I'm just going to simply tie it on there. Place a little knot. And try to thread it back through the little beads to help conceal the end as you can see here I'll thread it back through it's a little bit of a challenge but it'll be worth it because you won't be able to see the other end once I'm done I'll go ahead and add a little decal to this little tag and so I printed out a decal that says be happy and so I'll just place it on here and these are just from the Cricut Design Space. And I'll also take a little B and I'll place that on top. And now I'll proceed to create a tassel for the other side. And so I'll take some twine and I'll wrap it around my fingers a good 20 times. Snip off the end. Put the end of the garland through there. And then get another little piece and wrap top of the tassel put it in a double knot snip off the excess and cut open the bottom and that's it give it a little haircut get a little trim and that's it my garland is done but now I decided to, to go ahead and add a little bit of embellishment on the other side of the tag so I'll add the words don't worry so now the tag is gonna say don't worry be happy and I'll add another little be on this side as well so it's a double-sided tag and the reason why I did this is because so often we have these garlands and then the tag will turn over and it's like oh <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the Mod Podge to seal it all up and on the other side of the tag I actually do color in the B but I don't show it here but that's it super cute what do you guys think For this project, I'm taking one of these little white pails from the Dollar Tree in the wedding section and this black paint marker. And so I'll go in on the bottom and the top of the pail to make it look like enamel. And I'll cut out one of these little bees and it's a larger one. And it's also from the design, the Cricut Design Space. And I'll just place that on there. Looking cute. And get a little bit of styrofoam, stick it inside, get some of these wildflowers. That are so pretty I like the yellow and go ahead and snip them all off the pick and start placing them inside the little bucket and then I'll take my little paintbrush to add some of the yellow paint and I'll just go ahead and paint in the yellow on the bee and that's it what do you guys think For this next project, I'm just repurposing this little jar and I'm just, all I'm doing is cutting out one of these little uh, beehives from the design space and I'm just going to simply put it on there and I don't think I show it, but I do color in with some yellow paint as well on the inside of these and that's it. Super cute. 
for this project i'm just taking one of these soap dishes from the dollar tree the the more high-end looking ones the better quality looking ones and i cut out this uh saying that says be beautiful and i just put that on the top and put a little bit of mod podge and that's it super easy super cute super easy and as well with this one this is also from the dollar tree from the bathroom section and it's just the the toothbrush holder and again i'm just taking a little tiny little b and i'm just placing it on there and adding some flowers and that's it look how cute and for my last project i'm taking these two dollar tree uh containers they're they're ceramic with the gold lids and i like them because they have like honeycomb patterns on the sides of them and so i'm just cleaning them off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and placing some of the decals some of these little bee decals that i think are so cute from the design space the cricut design space and i'll just place them on top of the, the lids and i'll just go in with some mod podge as well and that's it so cute so easy and that is all guys hope you enjoyed this video and thank you corey Thank you for hosting this challenge. I had fun. And now if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And then until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. And don't forget to go to the playlist and watch the other participants. Bye-bye.